this section of the city has no public transportation and it's missing some important connections for bikes. Welcome to the beautiful city of Arecibito. We are gonna be in this city today looking to see how we can improve the citizens' ability to move around the city without a car. Let's get started. And this city is already full of so much walkability. The time and care that was put in all over the map to make sure that there were connections for pedestrians walking about is awesome. But I really see some areas where we can improve upon public transportation and the bike network. So after looking over the city, I've identified that this is the area we are gonna be working in mostly today. What I want to do first is take a look at a few things. We're going to look at the traffic, transportation, and we're going to look at cyclists. So our traffic's at 87%, so we will remember that traffic is excellent in this city. Okay, the second thing I want to make note of is cyclists. So let's just take a little note here of where this number is. Okay, and then we're gonna go and look at public transportation. And again, just make a note of these numbers so we can see hopefully an improvement when we're finished. Let me show you why I selected this portion of the city to work on today. This section of the city has no public transportation and it's missing some important connections for bikes as well so we're going to focus on that so we're going to get people up to this train station and connect it into this tram network so that is where we're going to start with buses and bikes so i've noticed up here in this corner we have this really nice shopping plaza we've got the main industry building this seems to me like a nice little hub that we could bring the buses into and then from here people could walk to work so i think that's where we're going to start so i've decided i'm actually going to add a pedestrian road here one of the larger ones with the bus lanes and then this will be our dedicated place for this part of the city for the buses to come in and drop off and that way it's near shopping. It's also near the main industry building. I think we could bring a little walking path here just to make this connection a little easier. Okay, I think we are set up now to get in our first bus line, but we need to add in a place for the buses to come down here and connect up with the tram. So I identified this little section here. Um, none of these buildings were historical. So this was the perfect little spot and we can bring in the little mini bus hub that we got with the plazas and promenades. Now we can add in our first bus line. So I wanna think about having a bus line coming from this part of the city straight up through the neighborhood on this side and into the industry area. So a line that goes up and back. I think that'll be really beneficial. So let's get that in. So I'm making sure that we have a few stops in the downtown area to pick people up. And I think this is gonna really help get people to work and also down and hooked into this tram line. So let's just go ahead and give this a little bit of a different color. And I really like the new buses that we just recently got. These ones, they look really nice and they have a really good capacity. Okay, and I think we're gonna go with six buses here. I think that's gonna work really well. Okay, whoa, they're coming from all the way over there. Well, that's gonna take a minute. That's okay. That's fine, we'll let that take a minute. Okay, so now through this kind of downtown area and up through this um, low density neighborhood, I'm seeing that there is a disconnect of this bike network. So I'm thinking I can sneak a dedicated bike path down in this area and that way you can actually bike down because there is a lovely bike road on this uh, tram road. 
So then this road right here doesn't actually have to be a bike lane. It kind of just ends here. So let's find that four lane road. There we go. And then let's follow this bike lane up. Okay, so it just ends there. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. And then again, we'll sneak a little bike path here because on these, there is a bit of a couplet here. So I want to go ahead and upgrade this to the three lane one way with bike road. And then we're going to connect up to the bike road here, which is perfect. Okay, so I noticed the bike road does stop here, but it makes sense to me because this is a four lane road here and this is the main road connecting these two neighborhoods. So it makes total sense that that would need to be a four lane road. So I've just brought a dedicated bike path through here and then I'm going to grab the bike road with trees so that we match the look of the area and we're going to upgrade this and then we're going to take our bike road all the way up to our shopping center where we put in our pedestrian street. Okay, following the bike road down on this side here, um, it looks like we're missing a connection to get over to this transit uh, metro uh, station that's over here and to the bike network on our tram road. So I think we could just bring a little path behind here to connect up this bike road this way. I think this will work really well. And then we just need to upgrade this little section of roads here and that will connect up to our bike network that's on the tram road. Okay, we're connected up to the tram road now. So now we just need to upgrade this last piece of road right here. And then our bike network through this area is fully connected up. You can bike across town, through town, around town. It's all hooked up now. And we've got this um, major bus line coming through here, which is so great. Let's check in on our buses now that they've had time to come over. Let's see how this line is doing. Yep, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Now, I've got more bus lines planned, so I think that will even out with time. We need to connect in these two neighborhoods, so let's work on that next. So I'm just gonna come across and then we are gonna come straight up all the way through here, stopping every couple blocks. We're making everyone so happy. We're gonna end here at our pedestrian and then we are going to come straight back. Oh no. Oh, people can go into this neighborhood, but not out. Okay, let's fix that. So I made a slight change. There was already this couplet coming across um, the highway. And then there was this direct highway entrance and exit into this neighborhood, which I think is so smart for traffic. So the streets that were running into that other neighborhood, they were both just one way and one direction. And I think this was maybe intended to be a couplet. It really felt like that. So I just solidified it and fully made it a couplet through this area. We can already see the amount of bike traffic coming through here, which is so exciting. So we're gonna put all these houses back and now we can do our bus line. <laughs> Now we can get this going. Let's actually start over. Sometimes I like to do that. Oh, and see, look, even I messed this up. Hold on, we need to get this going in the right direction. There's like a little piece here. There we go. Really easy to miss. Okay, now we are set up. I think this is going to work well. Let's just make sure this is also a bike road through here. So that way you can bike all the way up and then we'll connect up to the bike road that we put in. And look, now that bike road, that bike path is fully connected. Okay, let's go back and finally get our bus set up. So we're going to come up the couplet this way 
and we are gonna make our way all the way over to where we put in our nice little pedestrian bus road in front of the shopping center. This is gonna be perfect, making everyone happy. We'll come down the other side of the couplet and then we will hook back in here. Perfect, and let's add a stop through the downtown area. Again, it's a really dense area, so that I'll just help scoop people up. Let's do, oh, we kind of already have the purple from the tram. Let's go with the blue. All right, we're gonna pick that bus I like again, and I like to always put, oh, this is just me, I'm so odd. I like to put however many stops there are, I like to put half the amount of buses. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always done that, so. <laughs> okay, I think this is gonna work so well. Everyone's so happy, our bike, bike network is connected up and we are getting people to and from work now. The thing that we need is we need a cross town line. We need a line that gets to this um, train station down here. Now I was looking at this earlier and there's this little square here. None of these houses are historical. We're really close to the train station. There's lots of walking paths right through here. So I think this is the perfect spot to put in a secondary little bus hub. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got our new little bus station put in and I really wanna make this kind of cross line that goes across this um, area, just picks people up in a different direction and connects over to the other side to the train station. This will also just help move people through town and it'll be kind of a cross town bus. I'm just trying to navigate which is kind of going to be the best way to get across and back since we do have to come across this couplet, but I kind of want to pick up these other areas of the neighborhood that we haven't been able to reach. So just going to kind of try to figure my way through the neighborhood here. I almost think we're going to need to add a little extra road just so that will make more sense this way. Sometimes until you lay these out, you kind of don't know what's gonna work best. You know what, I see what I have done because the way the couplet is set up, I'm actually gonna start over. Now I know what I want to do. So we are going to Come straight across this way, come down into this neighborhood, hook up into our bus, and then we'll hit the top of the two of these neighborhoods across. And I think we'll just add a little road here and that's going to work really well. So we'll put this here for right now. We'll fix that in a second and then we can scoop up these people here. We can share a bus stop there, which will be great for transfer opportunities. And we'll come down into here. Okay, so then what I wanna do is just, if I add a little additional road here, that's going to work perfectly. So let's, we are gonna have to delete two houses. I'm so sorry, little houses. And now this, bus line can just come straight across instead of having to go um, up and under, which is perfect. Now we have our Crosstown bus. I'm so excited about this. Okay, let's give this a little bit of a color. Again, we're gonna pick this bus that I like and let's change this, make sure this is six. So we have 13 stops, okay. We are on a roll. This is looking great now. Look how much public transportation's in this area. I think we are making everyone very happy. Okay, so now I need a different crosstown bus. I need a bus that comes across these three neighborhoods here and helps get people to work and 
gets people across. So we are going to share a bus stop here, but then we are going to scoop people up over here. And then there is a nice little tunnel, which is perfect. So we can come through this neighborhood and then come over this way. And there's a bus line already down here. So then we can just go on the opposite side of the street here and come back. And then we have this crosstown bus on the upper half here, which is great. So we're gonna go ahead and mirror this, sharing that stop there and coming back here. Oh no. Let's see if we can just fix this with the budget. We can, okay, let's make sure this is gonna be happy. Oh, perfect, good. <laughs> Fixed it with the budget, yay. Okay, everyone get happy. All right. Oh, I'm so happy about these buses. This is working out so great. Let's give this a bit of a color. And again, going with my favorite bus. Let's see here. All right, that should work, that should work. Okay, so there is a bus that comes down into this side of the university, which is great. But I'm noticing on the other side, there is a lot of lovely walking paths getting people to the train station, which is perfect. They come across the road here, lots of pedestrian connectivity. But then we have this whole area down here that doesn't have any public transit. And again, lots of great walking paths, but I do think this area would be served well with a little bus line to connect up to the ferry as well. So let's do that. So I'm gonna start down here. We're gonna put our bus right outside. So the way I'm thinking of this bus is just stopping at like major um, points. So I think we'll go out here. We'll stop at the university main building We'll stop at the stadium. I don't want too many stops. I kind of want this to be more of a, kind of more of a tourist focused destination bus. So we'll come back this way. Oh, let's stop by the mall. I think that'll be really valuable. Yeah, if we come in this way we stop out at the museum, then we can stop out at the ferry. I think that will work. And then we'll end here. Yeah. I think that's a nice little circular bus kind of picking people up more of a destination. So let's give this a little bit of a color again, going with my favorite bus. And let's just take this down. That will work. Okay, great. I think that's gonna be so beneficial. While we're waiting for all those changes to take effect, I thought I would show you guys around this gorgeous vanilla city. Shake is a new Earth City Skylines creator and the creativity in this vanilla build blew me away. I really enjoyed watching the whole series and watching this city uh, being built and also watching Shake on his uh, creator journey. It was really fun as well. So a couple really cool things about this city. If you're into astrology, grab this city off the workshop and look at it at night because you'll be able to see some constellations at night, which is so cool. So there's some other level of detail here that's really neat and some other storytelling aspects to the build that I really appreciate. So I think so well done, so well constructed and just really pleasing. You know, I am all about pedestrian friendly cities. This is a city that's has a lot of pedestrian connectivity already but it's definitely got a lot of highways and highway interchanges but they're all done so well especially with vanilla and i just find the whole project very pleasing and very satisfying and i love the whole backstory to 
the stars and astrology. I think it's very cool. So I'll put the whole story of the build in the description below if you kind of want to read it, but definitely go take check out Shake's channel and check out the playlist. This city is also on the workshop, so I will link that below as well. Okay, let's take a look at where we are now. So look at this, these numbers are way up. We were at like 2,400 on each of those, I believe. Traffic, still the same. 87 was where we started, that's fine. For a vanilla city, for any city, 80% traffic is excellent. There's this one little spot in the city that I think is causing all the traffic problems. Looks like we need a little bit of Hugo there in this area. Oh. Sorry, uh, seems to be in the wrong place. Beg your pardon, carry on. <laughs> yes, we would definitely use some Hugo there if we had mods. Let's look at the bikes. So let's see where we are. About the same, no big change. Looks like we had a bit of a spike there and that's okay. Um, there was already a lot of cycling in the city. It just needed a little bit of connecting up in areas that we did today. If you have a vanilla city or a very lightly modded city that you would like me to pedestrianize or do a pedestrian city fix to, let me know. You can leave a comment below or come join the City of Friends Discord. It is a joint Discord I run with four other amazing builders. On top of that, we have other amazing creators that hang out there like Shake. So if you have questions about his city, you can come find him there as well well additionally as a reminder i have channel memberships channel members we are going to start in the beginning of august building our city live together which i'm so excited about so sign up if you would like to be involved with that i hope you all have a joyful day and i'll catch you next time